Welcome back to Cure for the Common Game. Today, at deck number 997, we're going to lose all of our friends with Maha, it's Feathers Knight. Now, for five mana, we had a 6-5 Flying Trample Ward discard a card. That's good right there. I would play that. But creatures your opponents control have base toughness one. That sounds really good. Because it is. It's not the end-all be-all, though. I, I played this deck last night, and I found that, um, you know, equipment, enchantments, plus one counters, things like that, stuff will live through. So, that being said, um, we have to... Uh, the idea here is, obviously, your opponent has no creatures, you have tons of creatures, and you win. Uh, you know, you attack and win. But how do we do that? Um... This is, as far as Bloomboro goes, this is the deck that stuck out to me that's like, you know, no budget. So, this is what I come up with. Yeah, yeah, let's do the good thing right off the top. Uh, it's a three-card combo. If we get it, we get it. If not, we don't. Uh, but uh, we've got ways to find it. We're all familiar with Bolas' Citadel, right? So you can look at the top card of your library at any time, and you may play the top card of your library if you cast a spell this way, pay life equal to its converted mana cost e rather than pay its mana cost. So you're paying life to cast the top spell. Now you it, it says you may play the top card, so you get to play your first land assuming you haven't made another land drop. However, the brakes really get thrown on when you hit that second land. I mean, you can play a ton of stuff, but once you hit that second land, you're kind of stopped, unless you have a shuffle effect or something like that. Now, I don't have a top. Top really doesn't fix the problem. It just delays it, right? Um, because eventually, you're going to wind up with three lands. So, you need a shuffle effect that's kind of difficult to do in a single color deck, or you need a Necropotence. So, if you have both of these in play, uh, you just pay life to play the top card through Bolas of Citadel, play, play, play. Oh, I hit a land. Pay one life, set it aside. Keep going. Every time you hit a land, you just pay one life, set it aside. And you get to play tons of spells that way, right? Yeah, I know what you're thinking. We're paying life for all that stuff, so eventually we're going to get to the point to where we can't pay anymore. That's where Aetherflux Reservoir comes into play. So after, I don't know, four to five spells, you're going to be netting more life than you're paying through the Bolus's Citadel. So that way, you're netting positive, and you can, you can play every spell in your deck if you want to. You'll eventually, because if you think about it, once you get up to the 10th, 15th, 20th spell, you're what, paying five, six life to gain 20, and you have the ability to cannon blast, pay 50 to deal 50, probably everybody at the table at that point. Anyway, and we have stuff to go find it, you know, uh, Diabolic Tutor, uh, Demonic Tutor, and Vampiric Tutor. I know, I know, I'm, I'm not, normally I'm not a big Tutor fan, but that's the thing, that's the goal, those three cards. The rest of this... And <laughs> anyway, let's start our, our resume our normally scheduled program with ramp. So we have Wayfarer's Bauble, Decanter of Endless Water, Gilded Lotus, Expedition Map. Now, Expedition Map, I know, is not ramp, but we may need it uh, to find some of our special lands that we might need. Um... Field of Ruin is an anti-Maze of Ith card. That's just, you know, why it's there. We have the Urborg Tomb of Yawgmoth. We have a Bajukabog, because, you know, that matters a lot sometimes. And we have a Dark Depths. Yes, we are playing all snow-covered lands, I guess you saw. Uh, the, the reason that led me down that path is coming up here in a little bit. Anyway, Arcane Signet, Dark Ritual, Thought Vessel. Jet Medallion, Soul Ring, Thran Dynamo, 
Nick's Lotus. Now, I'll be honest with you, last night was the first time I've ever had Nick's Lotus in play. And it feels really good to tap this for more mana than it costs. It does. Commander Sphere and a, of course, Wipe Order Charcoal Diamond. Oh. Love that Wipe Order. I know I'm the only one, but. Uh, card draw. It's been a couple years since I have uh, uh, preached the joys of the Siphon Mind. But this is a card that every black commander deck should probably have. For four mana, each other player discards a card, and you draw cards equal to what's been discarded. That's insane. It scales with the size of the game. It is just wonderful. And so, you know, hey, four mana to draw three cards, four cards. Some of our games, seven, eight cards, yeah. Infectious Inquiry. Sign and Blood. We're paying life to draw cards because, you know, we're playing black. That's our lot in life. Uh, Painful Lesson. Read the Bones. Night's Whisper. Feed the Infection. And Ambition's Cost. So, in a perfect world, uh, we have Maha out. In theory, ahead of Curve. So we've got to do things like, uh, I do not have Night of Souls Betrayal, not that I'm above it, I just didn't have it to play it when I built the deck. Um, but, Toxic Deluge. I, I, I don't have to sell you on Toxic Deluge. It, it's one heck of a card. But, when you can just pay one life and kill all your opponent's things, that's amazing, because all their toughness is one from Maha. Right? We need, to, we need to focus up a little bit. Bam. So, that also goes for things like Massacre Worm. Massacre Worm did a ton of damage last night, um, just from entering play. And I also have, yes, I have a, a Dingus Staff. You know, when a creature dies, its controller takes two. We have a Black Sun Zenith, you know, doing it for one, even. Uh, Noxious Field is kind of my favorite because it's repeatable. Uh, Enchant Land, tap, deals one damage to each creature and each player. All right. Yeah. Uh, we've been using this here in Jackson for a while with uh, the Black Enchantment. It's like, hey, if a creature takes damage, it dies, you know. Uh, anyway, we have Pestilence. Now... Pestilence was my first, the first card I thought of when I read Maha the first time. I was like, oh, it's Pestilence, so I, I could just spend one and kill all my opponents, everything. I still have Maha, so that keeps it alive. Well, the only thing better than a Pestilence, number one, you have to have a, a creature in play. Um, and in theory, you're only going to do it for one. But I have a Stuffy Doll, uh, just as a good blocker and to keep pestilence alive but now ice age way way back had a cheaper one mana cheaper version of pestilence called withering wisp but you could only use snow covered swamps yeah pretty much had to use snow mana so yeah and that led me into like dead of winter number of snow permits you control which is pretty much mutilate in this deck we have infest uh, minus two to everything and then we have massacre i love massacre i got to play massacre for free last night because generally in a commander game somebody's gonna have a planes i mean we're gonna have swamps obviously but somebody's gonna have a planes um now and since we are in snow i, I did blood on the snow because sometimes you sometimes you just get out creatured and you don't get what you need and there's counter spells and board wipes for enchantments and blah 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 anyway it's a backup plan so let's look at our how do we win the game well we win the game with flyers giant flyers well not all of them are covered giant uh, the vampire nighthawk is not giant uh neither is the moonstone eulogist but stuff like skittles yeah i'm not even going to try to pronounce that correctly it's skittles the black dragon you know what i'm talking about four four flying infect can have haste can regenerate 
Gingy is a 5-5. Five five. Now, I, I did get to cast last night uh, off my Nyxborn Lotus, mind you, the Shard of the Nightbringer. An 8-8 eight, eight flyer for 8 mana. That's well, not bad, but when it enters the battlefield, if you cast it, of course we will, uh, target opponent loses half their life, rounded up, you gain. So, uh, I 23 shot Clay and gained 23 life. Wow. Which let me, you know, pay a little bit of life for the Nightmare Lash to slap it on the commander, because, you know, big commander damage. You know. Another win con. Deathbringer Regent, Desecration Demon, Singier the Baron, I of the Dark Baron. I love this version better than the original version. Now there's some nostalgia in the old version, but this is just a better card. Uh, you know, another creature dies, but two one-one counters on it. Uh, uh, what? Butcher of Malakir is a big old flyer. The Bone Dragon, Grave Waker. From your yeah, gets it back. Uh, Necropolis Regent, Steel Hellkite doubles as removal. Because uh, believe you me, uh, I'll pay zero to nuke all the treasures, tokens, and foods. And then a Shard of the Void Dragon, another big old Warhammer flyer. Uh, which brings us to the rest. Uh, I have a little bit of spot removal. There's not a lot of spot removal. Uh, tendrils of Corruption, Corrupt, and Feed the Swarm. I will probably, because today is what it is, uh, I, I, I will be looking for a spot in here to take out for the new Black Enchantment Removal card. Because, you know, we got to have that. Um, sudden Spoiling is a great one that people don't see coming. Split second. In response, I'll... No, no you won't. It's split second. Um, we have Virtue of Persistence. Now, I like this because it says put target creature card from a graveyard. Any graveyard. So, uh, all the things that you've killed with your Maha Pestilence thing. There we go. And then, of course, we have a Grave Pact because, you know, why not? Now, the last three cards are just non-basic lands, you know, uh, Polluted Mire, Myriad Landscape, and we got to have our Reliquary Tower. Anyway, I've had a lot of fun building it. Uh, I had a lot of fun playing it last night. So, and uh, there's our uh, Merit Lage token. Yeah, yeah, not for the faint of heart. <laughs> so... That's what I have got for Maha. I uh, appreciate y'all watching. Thank you so much. We're getting ever so close. Just a couple more decks away to the big thousand. And thank you. Thank you. But right now, we're going to shuffle and cut.